intelligence part, uh, again, I can divide it two sections. One is spread computer interface. I will discuss a little bit about that. And another one is uh, singular-based uh, artificial intelligence. We are developing something uh, uh, for uh, people who cannot speak due to various disabilities. I will mainly discuss about this and show a small demonstration also. Uh, what is spread computer interface? Uh, probably you must have seen uh, something like this in the TV sometimes, uh, that is uh, direct link between brain and computer. So in this project, uh, what we do is, we try to control the computer with thoughts. So how do we do it? Before I uh, describe how you do it, uh, I will tell what, uh, uh, what can we do with it. Okay, uh, the computer interface is uh, invaluable for patients who suffer from severe motor impairments. Motor impairments means people who lose their muscle control. And people uh, get injured due to various uh, reasons, car accidents, other things. So they cannot move their muscles or arms or anything, but they live. Their brain is working clearly, but they cannot move anything, uh, any muscles. So uh, the problem with them is they are like uh, uh, completely closed in, I think it's called closing syndrome also. There are some diseases make this happen also. So they cannot uh, communicate with the outside world, only they live. So in this type of work, what we do is we try to uh, give them a tool to communicate with outside world. Okay, that is the major aim of the, this project. So uh, using BCI, the shortened word for brain computer interface, uh, again, this uh, what I said here, uh, as I said principle is right here. That means they can control wheelchairs, uh, televisions, or they can speak in singular Tamil or English. Which uh, because we can program computer uh, to uh, speak if they uh, can, if they can uh, give instruction to the computer through their uh, thoughts. Okay, in this project, actually, we are aiming at uh, building a high-performance brain computer interface system to provide a communication link between um, uh, human and computer. So, uh, uh, there are some uh, 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 systems available, but uh, the problem is it's very complicated and very hard to make, uh, especially people who uh, has these diseases uh, 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 are very frustrated and uh, it's very hard to train. Okay, how do you do it? Uh, we take, we somehow monitor the electrical signal coming from the brain or uh, whatever the muscles they can control. I will talk to uh, you about this a bit later. Then we amplify them because these signals are very, very small. So we amplify them, then we convert them to digital signals so that computers can read them. Then computer get the message, then computer will decide, like a, we pre-program the computer, then according to the whatever the computer is getting, it will do things. Okay, general scheme, thought can change the uh, signal, whatever the signals you are getting from the brain, signal is amplified and sent to the computer, then the recognition through the uh, recognition of the thought from the signal. And not all thoughts can be recognized take action according to the thought. Okay, for completely paralyzed people, uh, one of the methods people use is use EEG, something called electroencephalogram. That is what the doctors normally uh, ask you to do uh, when you have some kind of a brain problem. They will ask, uh, you can, from the hospital you can uh, get the EEG. Then doctor will get the EEG signal that is recorded from the scalp of the brain. Uh, uh, the head, then uh, the doctor can diagnose. But uh, the changes due to thoughts uh, in these EEG signals are very small. You cannot see it on a piece of paper. So I briefly described that. Uh, you take the EEG signal, then what we do is something called pre-processing. That is, we remove some noises and other things and unnecessary parts of the signal coming out of the brain. Then uh, what we do is we uh, Extract features, that is a technical word, for uh, describing uh, whatever, whatever the important changes happening in the signal due to the thought. We extract them, then we classify them. Classify them means we recognize the thought. 
So we always relate thought to some pattern in the uh, features. But uh, what uh, happens is most of the severely paralyzed people uh, still can move their eyes. Uh, the EEG signals are very weak. But if you move eyes, that produces a large signal. I will uh, give you a half idea a little bit later. So because of this, these uh, eye movements can be used to control things also. Also, some people can move some muscles on the face. So with those muscle movements, computer can, uh, sorry, the, uh, we amplify the signal, then we can recognize. So uh, those are something called EOG and EMG. EOG is uh, Electro-oculography, that is the signals generated due to eye movements, because eye has a, something called dipole movement. That means eye has a positive and negatively charged uh, the particles. When they move, they generate an electric field. So it propagates on the surface of the face, or the head, or the body actually, or even inside the body. Then you pick up those signals and amplify them and get it. EMG means uh, electromyography, that is uh, electrical signals generated due to muscle movements. Now, uh, the thing I am going to describe to you is a part of the project, that is the uh, construction of brain computer system based on EEG, EMG, EOG. The major demonstration we try to give you today is due to EOG and EMG, because EEG part is not completed yet, especially the software part. Uh, we have tested a lot of things, but uh, uh, that one. So uh, to have a brain-computer interface system, uh, we need two things. One is the hardware. Hardware uh, consists of amplifier, analog digital converter, and a computer interface. Somehow we have to uh, interface those amplified signal to the computer. The other one which made a part is the software, which take this signal and recognize and do whatever we want, we ask it to do. Okay, amplifier and the uh, HD converter interface. Uh, this shows you the uh, rough uh, approximate values of these uh, signals, uh, EEG, that is, we record from the uh, surface of the skull, going in microvolts, between 0 to 100 microvolts. You need large amplification for that. Then the uh, signal frequency range is 0 0.5 to 70 hertz. Then EMG, that is uh, again uh, electrical signals generated due to muscle movements. That is 1 to 2 millivolts, that is about 1000 times larger than the microvolts. It is in this frequency range. Then the, actually I have ECG. Uh, EOG is similar to EMG. Same. And ECG is the, uh, the signal generated from the heart. Go to, uh, when you want to find out whether your heart is working properly, you take ECG. Okay. Um, okay, what we need to uh, develop an amplifier for this? We need a high gain amplifier. That means it should have a higher amplification factor or it should uh, increase the signal by a large factor. But when you uh, increase uh, something with a large number, whatever the small, uh, small noises, uh, from uh, due to various reasons, can also get amplified. So then you get your signal get contaminated. That means it gets error. It gives you an error. So uh, because of that, you have to filter out noises. Because you can see these signals are very very small. Even small fluctuations, electrical fluctuations, generate small electrical signals so that those things will uh, contaminate the the pure signal. Okay, this is the photograph of uh, the amplifier we made in our group. This has eight channels. Actually, uh, it is here. Um, uh, this is the amplifier. Then um, down here is the filter. Filter filters out a lot of unnecessary signals. The second box down, light box down there. A box is here. Then uh, we have an interface here. This will uh, 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 interface the amplifier and this one, uh, this filter to the computer. Okay, this has a microcontroller. If you are familiar with microcontrollers, this has microcontrollers. In. Okay, this is a filter uh, diagram. So it's a inside this. We have these things in the box. Then uh, this is the diagram of the interface circuit. This is what we 
built. Okay, then we need a uh, software to uh, uh, feed these leaders. Uh, so we call them a genie. I don't know whether you have a family with that name. name that is uh, uh, the mythical, like a ghost like figure in this. Uh, uh, the uh, Sinbad, the sailor, like that, uh, you know, that uh, lamp and the thing. Uh, because what we thought was here, actually, you may just say that, you know, uh, there's a saying, uh, especially in the TV, TV dramas, they say, Genie says, uh, your wish is my command. So we thought it's a good thing to have our uh, well covered interface system because that is exactly what it does. The person's wish become true because of the software system. So we call it Genie. Okay, now uh, I'm a little bit slow down now, and uh, this is we come to the uh, uh, demonstration level. I have to tell you something before we even start. Uh, this is a very uh, preliminary research level system. Actually, uh, so because of that, this is the first time we are going to demonstrate in the public. Uh, because of that, uh, we actually we uh, did the, we made a tape also video uh, tape out of this because uh, it is not very stable. Uh, that means uh, there are certain parameters we are still testing and controlling. So the what you will see is you will see a uh, uh, image. The, the software contains this type of image. It has four buttons. When the person who controls the system will choose one of these, as an example, light button. It's light on off button. Um, then that person can control light signals. But today, we are, as I said before, uh, we are not going to describe, uh, uh, demonstrate the system with EEG. We are not. That means we are not controlling the things with the thoughts alone. But certain thoughts can move the uh, eye. So we are picking up those signals. Because if we want to do EEG, we have to record everything from the scalp. Actually, we have been doing a lot of research on that. Uh, the software part is not done yet. So. Uh, uh, we are going to use EEG, muscle movements, and the eye movement. For this one, that person will turn on turn off lights. The other one is communication. Through the communication button, he will go to another window, which will contain various uh, pre-defined uh, sentences. So that person will uh, press the button, then it will computer will generate that speech. Okay. In the television one, the person will control the television, turn on the television, then change the channels with the, with the muscle control. The last one, actually, I will ask you to also participate. That is a mathematics part. Uh, before we start, I will ask you to give the person two numbers. Then, basically, he will multiply and show the answer uh, on the screen. In the same time, computer will say the uh, number, answer. It's a small thing, but let's see whether we will be successful. Uh, the question is demo or the video. If the demo fails, I will show you the Okay, uh, this BCI group has three people mainly. Myself and uh, Zamit. Uh, Zamit is mainly working on the EEG part of the project. Uh, uh, then actually then the Dambika. Dambika working on EOG. He's an electronic expert. He's the person who is responsible for actually making most of things work. Actually. He's very good at uh, making things and design things, so it will be a great help actually for us. So uh, because of this hard work and everything, uh, the, mainly the hard, uh, hardware part is responsible for that. Okay, uh, actually he is the one who is going to demonstrate. So I like first, to uh, actually we have made a uh, recorder, signal recorder. Uh, we will show you on the screen what the computer gets from the amplifier and the uh, amplifier. Uh, normally, you will see signals due to slight eye movements or muscle movements. You can see the, what happened to the signal. So these signals are monitored by the software. But the first part, we will show you the just display the signal. Okay, this uh, one thing I have to tell, the software and hardware, everything are built at IFS. Everything except we purchase those uh, electronic chips and capacitors and other things. And the electrodes we purchase uh, outside. All the other things. Now he will uh, move uh, eyes a little and uh, do things, and then you will be able to see what's happening there. The first thing, uh, please ignore the second signal. signal. The second signal is not connected to anything. Only the first one and the last two. 
when he does things, you can see the speeds are going up and down uh, because it is uh, EOG and ENG. But with EEG, you don't see any difference visually. It has a software will determine using various techniques, something called uh, signal processing techniques and machine learning techniques. It's a very advanced thing, uh, EEG. But uh, EMG is uh, some relatively. I think he's getting ready. I'll uh, speak to you more. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, after the demonstration, uh, we can ask questions and you can ask me whatever things I know I will tell you. But uh, there are, this is a very active area uh, of research in various countries, Japan, Germany, America, and other places. It's one of the areas. Uh,